college football player in Rhode Island used to protecting his quarterback on the field. Yeah, but he wasn't able to take the field recently because he was in the hospital donating his bone marrow and saving the life of a complete stranger. Man. Sam Reed reports. Two years ago, through these doors at the Rogers Recreation Center on Salve Regina's campus, the football team held its annual Be the Match drive. Inside of the gym, hundreds of students were swabbed. Their DNA entered into an even bigger pool to potentially help sick people. They tell you in the beginning it could take a while, but you never really, you know, feel like you'll get called until you do. Patrick McGroarty, a junior offensive lineman, got that call in August. I pulled the trigger and I said yes immediately. After a blood test, he was told he was a perfect match. An anonymous six-year-old boy was in need of his bone marrow. I knew that there's, an, there's another person on the other side of it uh, fighting through a battle. Uh, so if I can't sacrifice a couple weeks of my life, uh, for his whole entire life, then what kind of person am I? He underwent a bone marrow procedure at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Initially, he was told he'd have to sit on the sidelines for what could have been the two final games of the Seahawks season. It was a sacrifice he was willing to make, but fortunately for number 65. Pat's back. That's all I kept saying. Pat's back. In this case, it was a win-win for everyone. And while his job on the field is to protect the quarterback, off of the field, this New York native is helping tackle the hardest challenge a little boy will ever face without hesitation. You know, you really think of him in the back of your mind the whole entire way, just knowing that if you can get through a couple weeks of recovery for his entire life, then it will be well worth it. That was Sam Reed reporting. In a few years, Patrick will be given the name of the child he helped save, and he says he wants to meet him. Big heart here. One of his teammates also stepped up to the plate by donating stem cells in August. Some mm. good guys.